Today we're going to look at what happens if you have a 99 overall running back and you put him behind a 12 overall line. We recently saw the reverse of this. Link will be in the description if you missed out. But let's just say a 12 overall running back and a 99 overall line had the worst run game in the league. They missed the playoffs. So now it's Barry Sanders' turn to see what he can do. Of course, it's only right to have him on the Detroit Lions. They're 59 overall now. All of their offensive linemen are normal dev and 12 overall. We bought back Mr. Sanders out of retirement because let's be honest, he low-key had to deal with situations similar to this. Like his O-line most of the time did not do him any favors. The number one ranked halfback in the league. I'm pretty sure the only 99. We gave him 99 almost everything. So yeah, he's going to be a monster. He's going to have to do it all just like he did his entire career. Now I'm actually going to go to the most running back friendly playbook. I want him to get as many receiving yards and receptions as possible. So we're going to use the Panthers and let's see what happens against the Eagles in game one. We're going to be playing nothing but offense and i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie man fletcher cox these dudes look at that look how easily josh sweat got in the backfield i think a lot of pitch plays make sense like we could still run behind some of our tight ends our wide receivers like hawkinson i'm gonna need you i'm gonna need you this game baby let's go okay the lineman out there throwing a nice block barry getting the first we gave him human joystick and matchup nightmare along with first one free in case you're wondering what x factors and abilities he got barry with the cutback he's always trying to get back to the line of scrimmage it's not gonna be easy this is crazy because this is really what he dealt with and he still ended up being arguably the best to ever do it we're not going to be able to block anybody so i think quick passes screens things of that nature are going to be how we move the ball barry sanders fighting let's go baby barry getting us within one yard they're sending the blitz on fourth and one we're getting this first down barry let's go oh there's no way. Great coverage. I think what I have to stop doing is forcing it to bury every play. Like, we can still pass the ball. We can still go to other people. We don't have to go to them every single play. Oh, Hawkinson. Let's go. That's a great catch helping us keep the chains moving. But yeah, every first down, I'll run the ball. Every first, almost every second, I'll be running the ball. No problem. Oh, God. Look at that. They're in the backfield before we can even figure out where we're running. But Barry Sanders is too shifty. There it is. DJ Chart getting us the first down. We're inside the 20. O-line is doing better than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. First quarter was not as bad as I envisioned. Here comes the toss. Barry getting tackled for a loss. I got bars for days, man. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more. Third down and 11. We got Barry out the backfield. Oh, God. They could not block for longer than two seconds. It's a strip sack fumble. Hassan Reddick is gonna take it to the crib. I refuse to give up. That's the last thing we're gonna do. Okay, we still have the best running back in the league. All right, that's it. I'm not giving up. Barry, let's go. Keep fighting. We're gonna get him involved in other ways this time i'm on rough why not spread the wealth maybe he's a little tired you know what i'm saying fatigue is on okay we gotta get other people involved i'm on the with a nice run in the first down keep them on their toes that's the name of the game have them figure out where the ball is going or who it's going to just gotta get rid of it fast uh, when you have an o-line this bad golf to hawkinson for the first down oh great block by the 12 overall barry gets another first down what is going on am i going crazy why are they blocking so well or maybe it's just certain plays like there's still nfl players that end of the day oh god fletcher cox was in the backfield within like 0.1 seconds second to hawkinson let's go fight your way in for the tutty one possession game 13 rushes 78 yards in half number one not terrible but we find ourselves down 10 because the defense is uh struggling just a little bit barry looked dead to rights in the backfield right there i don't know how he was able to get positive yards second down to nine we gotta go back to the run gotta go back to the run hitting outside slay with a great tackle but now it's a third down and seven big play right here i'm on Getting us the first down. No, he's going to fumble. The second costly fumble of the video. And Marcus Epps looking like the 22 down there in Tennessee. Trucking people on his way in for the touchdown. We got to start passing. Even if it hurts. There we go. Just get Barry the ball. They're going to man defense again. Dang it, Jared Goff. Not the best throw on the run. I'm trying to get Barry Sanders 100 yards. That's what I want to do. Say he got 100 yards in a game this season. It's probably too little too late. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. There's nothing he could do. He ends up fumbling. Fletcher was in the backfield. As soon as we snapped the ball, we end up getting blown out. But Barry actually had a decent game. Four yards of carry. He slowed down a lot in the second half. We didn't get him any rushing touchdown. And we fumbled with him, unfortunately. But he did have nine catches, 38 yards. If they can keep using him like this, he might sneak into the top 10 
10 best running backs. They end up 2 and 15, but look at this. They were not last in rushing. They end up 19th, the highest they finish in any major category. Barry Sanders got that dog in him. Oh, dead last in passing. Jesus, Jared Goff. Offense was last as well. Defense, yep, same thing. 12 touchdowns on the season. I mean, he did have a 12 overall line. Barry Sanders, 1,400 yards and 10 touchdowns. Five yards a carry with a 12 overall O-line. This man is different. No 1,000-yard receiver, not even close. Didn't expect it, but 456 receiving yards, 52 receptions, and another touchdown through the air. But Mahomes ends up taking home the MVP. Barry doesn't end up in the top 10. Cooper ends up winning OPOY. And Zeke ends up with the best running back award. Sanders ends up in the top five. That's a huge accomplishment. All in all, it's not as bad as I was expecting. What are some other experiments we can do? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.